Yo, I can't believe they made Blue Lock into a real sport. What the heck? Dude, this clown really thinks he's Isagi IRL, bro. Come on. Try a little harder, buddy. Maybe in a few years, you can actually win the World Cup. That was you before this video. Today, we're comparing Blue Lock characters to players in real life. So the author of Blue Lock, Kaneshiro Muneyuki, revealed in an interview the inspirations for some of the characters in the anime, like Bachira, Isagi, Baro, and Chigiri. And since I'm also a big fan of football, there, are you guys happy now? I thought I could impart my knowledge and insights of the game I am Jose Mourinho. and tell you more about the players in real life. Starting off with Bachira, who's supposed to be inspired by one of the coolest football players to ever grace the game, Ronaldinho. If you were to describe this man in one word, it would be flair. Brazilian players like Ronaldinho, Bye. in general, are very flashy and tricky players, which more often than not, results in a very fun game to watch. I mean, if you were hyped watching Bachira drop 2-3 players with crazy skills, techers as they call it in football, then you'd be properly mesmerized by how Ronaldinho used to play. I think the dribbling aspect of Bachira's character is very self-evident to being inspired by Ronaldinho, but it doesn't end there. See, Bachira's character as a whole just emanates this love for football, right? He willingly takes the ball from Isagi because he liked his spirit for the game, or some dumb shit like that. He plays the way he wants because it's fun for him. Him, an aspect that Ronaldinho embodies himself. I think the reason why we love Bachira so much is because he's so starkly different from everyone around him. You know, everyone in Blue Lock is all like, I'm gonna devour you. No, please have mercy. I'm gonna beat you off. No, please don't beat me up. Wait, did you say you were gonna beat me off? I'm gonna slap your pretty little ass. Uh, okay, chill, bro. And suck your ginormous fucking cock. But Bachira's just like, <laughs> Ronaldinho exudes this same energy. The man literally smiles while he's dropping bodies left and right. That's why he's the GOAT! Though, sadly, he retired seven years ago. But I think if you want to watch someone who has inklings of Ronaldinho, then it would have to be Neymar Jr. Next up, we have Isagi. Now, I don't actually know who this player is. The fuck is that guy? But seeing what he's won over his career, you can tell he was pretty good. So this guy's name is Filippo Inzaghi. He was known for his great skill in taking advantage of the carelessness of his opponents. What's Isagi known for? Taking advantage of the carelessness of his opponents, reading their moves, seeing the future, or some dumb shit like that. Inzaghi also had excellent positional sense in the area. Huh? Meaning he would find little pockets of space to go into where oh, defenders fuck. probably left behind. And by occupying that space, he gave himself a better goal scoring opportunity. This high level of intelligence ties well into Inzaghi's last trait, which was his eye for goals. Explained in anime terms, basically it's Isagi's ability to calculate the best place to utilize his now these similarities alone are enough, but as I read more, I'm convinced Kaneshiro just copy and pasted this man into Isagi. See, apparently Inzagi lacked notable technical skills, meaning he wasn't good at dribbling, he wasn't good at passing, nor was he good at receiving the ball. Something that Isagi actually mentions in the anime when he says he's not as good as Bachira, Nagi, and all of those people. Inzagi was apparently also terrible in the air, something that Isagi was also bad at. Oh, and wouldn't you know, Inzagi also didn't have any long-range striking abilities. You know where I'm going with this? Isagi is Inzagi. Holy fuck, it's the feds. Baro is the next one on the list, and this one cracked me the fuck up because he's supposed to be inspired by none other than Mario Balotelli. If any of you watching are football fans and you just heard about this, you probably went, yeah, that makes sense. Now, for those of you who don't know, Mario Balotelli is an enigma in football. Probably the weirdest player I've ever had the chance to watch. I know this because the man played for the club I support. And there's a reason why Baro, the great King Baro, is linked to Balotelli. It's because they both do whatever the fuck they want. You already know how Baro is in the anime. I don't need to tell you that. Now with Mario Barotelli, you best believe no one can tell him what to do. All my strikers uh, injured. I was really in trouble and Mario was the only one. Mario gets a yellow card in minute 42, 43. So when I go to the dressing room at halftime, I spend 14 minutes of the 15. I was spending 14 minutes speaking only for Mario. 
Mario, I cannot change you. Don't touch anybody. Play only with the ball. When we lose the ball, no reaction. If somebody provocates you, no reaction. If the referee makes a mistake, no reaction. Mario, please. Minute 46. Red card. <laughs> and that pretty much encompasses him not only as a person, but also as a footballer. Aside from his antics, this guy is an absolute unit. His powerful right-footed shot means that he's one of the most prolific penalty takers in the world. Throughout his career, Balotelli has scored 38 out of 43 penalties, an 88% conversion, meaning that 88% of the time this man steps up to the plate, he absolutely delivers. Lastly, we have Chigiri. Now, I saved this one for last because this surprised me the most. Chigiri, the speedster. In a sport that heavily emphasizes running and sprinting, sometimes just running fast equals gold. So who could Chigiri be based off of? Kylian Mbappe? It's Mbappe! Alfonso Davies? Davies keeps it upset! Erling Holland? Cancelo! Holland! No. It's none of these dudes, but in fact, a relatively modest player from Yokohama F Marinos, Ryo Miaichi. Who? After looking a bit at his background, we can see that Ryo has been noted for his blistering pace and ability to run and dribble past defenders, something we saw pretty evidently with Chigiri when they faced off against Team W. I mean, look at this and tell me you don't see glimpses of Chigiri in this guy. At one point, he was even dubbed as Rio Dino, you know, because of Ronaldinho, the guy I mentioned before. And tell me, just tell me, how many people in this world can say that they've been called the Japanese Messi? A bit too overly ambitious, but this gives you a sense of how good of a player this guy was, or at least how people saw him in terms of potential. However, if you've been watching this far into the video, then you'd know it doesn't end there. So after doing some extensive research, it was found that Ryo Miaichi is a player who was also plagued with injuries. I mean, just 9 months into his professional career, the man picked up an ankle injury which put him out for weeks, and it didn't get any better from there. Because a few years later, a crucial ligament tear on his left knee meant that he couldn't play for another 9 months. And just one season later, this time on his right knee, which if you remember, is the one that almost made Chigiri quit football altogether. And yes, you can say that Chigiri eventually recovered and is only getting better from here, which snap back to reality. This isn't anime anymore. People don't just die Jobu their way out of this shit. Despite playing for over a decade now, Miyaichi has only played a total of 153 games of senior football, excluding the games that he's played with Japan. For comparison, Cristiano Ronaldo has played 656, and Messi? He's played 596. Obviously, these are just estimates. And you can even argue that if he was fit, it wasn't a guarantee that he would have played if he wasn't good enough. But the disparity in games alone just shows that that simply isn't the case. This guy's career was demolished by injuries. I'm not disrespecting his career by any means. I just wanted to show you how hard it is, firstly, to play football professionally, and secondly, how fragile it can be even if you make it to the top 0.000001%. Anyway, bit of a different style of video to my usual content, but I hope you liked it. Oh, and I have a special video coming out on the 21st of February, so be sure to stay tuned for that. Comment your thoughts down below, and I'll try my best to reply. That's it, see ya!